Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are prepping for Christmas. Yay, it is that season. If you guys follow me on Instagram and my Facebook, you will see that we did decorate the dining room. We got a new tree this year specifically for the dining room so we got that all decorated i did not film that that was just a special thing with me and the kids since the theme was more so based for the kids i let them be a part of it tank begged and begged to put the tree up so i finally gave in i was gonna wait but i'm like you know what let's enjoy it for as long as we can i've had fall up for two months i'm over it it's time to get it taken down so we're gonna get all the fall decor taken down put away so we can get ready for christmas because i will be decorating Probably next weekend, I will start decorating the rest of the house for Christmas. So I will film that. You guys will see that. I'm sorry I didn't film the dining room, but there is more that I want to do to the dining room. I still need to get uh, a table runner for the dining table. And then I'll show you here in a second. The fireplace needs a couple more things because it's kind of very bare. And I would like to get a cute like gingerbread... Um, gingerbread pitcher or sign or something to go above the fireplace but it's so pretty. I'm going to show you guys that. But yeah, I'm officially back to work. I've been back for a week. It's been just so much going on, you guys. So a day before I was supposed to go back, you say hi. Hi. Oh, he got a haircut. He wanted his hair trimmed. So show him your hair. Yeah, he trimmed it down. Um, But a day before I was supposed to go back to work, I suddenly had an allergic reaction. I thought it was from perfume so i ended up going to the hospital because my eyes were so swollen my mouth started to swell up it was really really bad i had hives like all in the back of my head my neck my arms i didn't know what was going on i legit thought it was from a new perfume that i started using turns out it wasn't as soon as i got in the hospital and they asked what kind of blood pressure meds i was on and as soon as i told them with Cinepro, they were like okay this is not from perfume. They said over time, if you're on that medication for too long, it can start to really do some damage. Uh, kidney failure is one of it. Thank God my kidneys are good. Blood work came back good. Uh, my potassium my potassium levels were very low, which is something else that that med medicine can start to do. Um, he has no shirt on now. <laughs> but the rest of my blood work was good. But they said another thing was like this allergic reaction that tends to be like your eyes where it gets serious and my throat was starting to feel weird. So for the last week, that happened last Sunday. It's the week after it's Sunday when I'm filming this. I had a rash literally the whole week throughout my body. I still kind of have it. Tomorrow morning, I have an appointment with my primary care doctor. I gotta be there at 7.30 a.m. because she wants to kind of check out this rash since it's not fully gone away yet and figure out what else they're gonna put me on. So I've been off of medicine for a week. My blood pressure has been through the rough. I've been just... I feel like someone has like a voodoo doll and they're like just stabbing me because it's like everything that could go wrong in this last month from my surgery going wrong to being off work and not having no money just it's like everything that could go wrong is going wrong. So I'm trying to be positive. Now we're going to put up Christmas because I feel like that's the only thing that's going to like make all of this kind of just feel better. You know this nightmare that I'm living in for the last month but that's that I'm back to work. Things are going back to normal. I'm just trying to really just get back on board. This month's gonna be a very rough month for me since I'm gonna be playing catch up and it's just a lot going on, but I'm trying my best to just stay positive. And I appreciate you guys always checking on me and just making sure that my mental health is where it's supposed to be. Because right now I'm in a very hard season of my life and I'm just pushing through it. Here's the tree for the dining room. It is gorgeous. So if you guys watched my uh, haul that I shared like two weeks ago, I said I was going to do gingerbread and candy land theme. This is how it turned out. I do. I'm like torn. I love it the way it is. I think I'm going to just leave it the way it is just because it's fun. And like I said, the boys helped me decorate the tree. Tank and me spent like three hours doing this tree last night. I was thinking about getting some ribbon and add it in. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I love it the way it is. You guys let me know. Do you think I should add in like some pops of ribbon or just leave it as is? I do know for sure I want to get some more of these because I didn't have enough because I want to kind of put some more back here. I want to take the boys' pictures down just so I feel like they're kind of taken away from the tree. And then over here, I put that Santa stop sign here. I just moved the fireplace down up to the window seal. 
that was a sign that I got at Hobby Lobby. I actually got this at a thrift store for like two bucks. And I just set it right there where it's like pointing towards the tree. And then that sign was from Hobby Lobby as well. I want to take this stuff off because I feel like the black's kind of just taking away from the tree. I have a Christmas sign downstairs in the basement, but I'm going to put it up there. I don't know if I'm going to like it, though. I'm going to bring it up and see if I do like it. If not, next time I'm in Hobby Lobby, uh, it'll probably be a while once I get some, some funds back in my life. <laughs> I'm going to go in there and see if I can find some type of Christmas sign that has red in it, just because this whole aesthetic is red and white. I feel like the black or like green is going to take away from it, but... This is our new tree. It is gorgeous. We love it. I think Lucy, look at her. She's found her new sleeping spot. But the gingerbread man, he's adorable. Another thing that I wanna do, I found this DIY. I'm gonna make these little gift boxes. Big Lots had some peppermint ones or candy cane, whatever you wanna call it. But they were like $18 and it was literally cardboard box. So that's something that I wanna do. I'll share an upcoming video when I do like another decorate with me. I'll share that DIY with you guys. With our tree, she's gorgeous. She is a seven foot tree. And I did get her from King of Christmas. So I need to take this box back down to the basement. Uh, what I did, uh, some of the fall stuff from the dining room, I threw in there and then all my um, bulb container boxes or whatever I put them back in this box so that way I can put all the ornaments back in the clear containers once Christmas is over so we're gonna go take this downstairs I brought this up because I needed hooks for the ornaments and I had a bunch thrown in there these are the ornaments for if you guys remember last year I had a little four foot tree in my bedroom that I'm gonna do again so those are all the ornaments for that tree I'm not gonna put that tree up yet and I decided I'm only going to take down all the fall stuff that's in the kitchen because that's going to be the next area that I decorate. I want to decorate our hot cocoa bar. You guys know that is my favorite area to decorate for every year. So I want to clear this all off so it's a clean slate. Take all the other fall stuff down. I don't want to take the living room stuff down just yet because I'm not ready to put everything else up and I just feel like it's going to be too naked. So I'm just going to leave that fall stuff up in there. But my main focus is to get all this fall taken down in the kitchen so I can decorate the kitchen and my hot cocoa bar this week sometime. Something that I never used to do in the past was store seasonal cups. And then I would have no room to put these cups. I would just have like Christmas, fall, Easter cups. So I'm gonna go in the cabinet, take my all of my fall cups and put them in this tote as well. Just because I'm pulling out Christmas cups soon. So I need some place to put these cups. And my um, cocoa bar is gonna be a little different this year. I don't know if I'm gonna display my mugs or not. But even so, I know I'm going to end up probably buying some new mugs once I go to the store or something like that. So I'm making it a habit to actually store seasonal mugs away with the decor as well. Because I don't need Christmas mugs in July. <laughs> That 
some other redone mugs that I want to store down too. I never even use this, but I'm gonna sort away just because I don't have no space. So the kitchen, oh, almost forgot. Uh, I got all of, which this needs to be washed actually, so I'm gonna wash that before I throw it in there. But I got all of the fall down in the kitchen. So I'm gonna actually wipe the counters up, all of that, all of the magnets and that that's on the side of the fridge. I'm gonna move them to the other side because when I do decorates by Coco Bar, I have a magnetic sign that I'm gonna hang up over there just to kind of free up that space. So we're gonna go take this back down to the basement and then clean up the counters so we have a clean slate for our Christmas decor. I did realize I'm forgetting one thing, the rug. Add that bad boy on top. Now we are officially ready to take all the fall down to the basement. I did bring this Santa up. I'm gonna clean him off because he's been in the basement. Um, but I'm gonna put him by the tree because I figured he would fit. He actually, I think he might need batteries, probably dead. And then this is the sign that I was talking about. I'm gonna go put it on the wall and see if I like it. I think last year I had it up in my kitchen, I don't remember. But I got this sign at Hobby Lobby like three years ago and I've only ever used it once. It did have another tree on there. Oh, he is working. Uh, but it fell off when we moved into this house. So we're going to go hang this up, see if I like it. And if I don't, I'll just get another sign. I'm like a Let me see. Isn't he cute? Yeah. Here, let's go put him by the tree. Come on, get him. Oh, God. It's off. He's been playing Uno again. Go put them, where are you gonna put them? Next to the fireplace? <laughs> He's cute. Isn't he cute? So Santa will go right here in front of the, right next to the tree. I'm surprised the battery's still working that thing. But I got him uh, at, I don't know where I got him from. Last year he was given to us, but I don't remember from who. But he has, you know, he's reading. It was the night before Christmas. You like Santa? It's cute. All right, let's hang this picture up. I'm going to put it up on this wall right here and see how I like it. Okay, that's up. I don't know if I love it, but I don't hate it. I feel like it might be okay once I get rid of the lamp and those candle pillars because the black's throwing it off. Um, and I was thinking I might have some red and white beads. Maybe I can crisscross that way just to tie some red into it. But I don't hate it. You guys let me know what you think. I do want to get, I saw these really cute like red candy cane trees that I want to do a display and I would like to get like a little gingerbread house so I think once I add that the sign might be okay I'm gonna leave it for now just because the blankness was driving me insane uh, I am gonna take these pictures down just for now just because like I said they're I feel like they're taking away from the tree And I can always put those back up after Christmas is over. There we go. I think that looks 
better now. The pictures were kind of taken away from the tree. But you guys let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Should I leave the sign? Should I try to find something else? Or leave it and then once I switch out and get some more like red and get rid of the candle pillars and all of that, do you think it'll kind of tie all in together? I will say my counters have not been like decor free in so long. It's really nice. Um, this is prime example of what I mean when I said I keep my cups out all year long. I've used this cup all year. I made um, some sweet tea earlier, so I'm going to pour me some and then wipe all these counters off. You can see how dirty they are. And I'm going to empty the dishwasher and transition these into the dishwasher. I'm not going to run them or anything. I'm just going to add them in there until the rest uh, fill up. But my sweet tea I made earlier. It should be nice and cold. It's been sitting in there for a couple hours. So I'm going to pour me a glass in my Christmas mug. Well, Christmas wine glass. I don't know why I said Christmas mug. <laughs> That is good. Nothing beats homemade sweet tea, you guys. So good. These um, are the tea bags that I use to make my sweet iced tea. You just brew. Um, I don't even brew it. What I do, I get extremely, my faucet makes extremely hot water. So I do four cups and I put two tea bags. I let it steep for like five minutes and then I fill the rest of the pitcher up with ice and then fill it with cold water. This is the pitcher size that I use. You can see my ice is still in there, but, and I add um, some sugar to my liking and we got good homemade sweet tea. It's really, really good. I've made my sweet tea like this for years. So whenever I don't buy it, you can see, I mean, this is like the second box I bought, but it lasts me quite a while. You get 24 bags. What I want to do is get some peach flavoring uh, so I can make some sweet peach iced tea.
Okay, that looks so much better. So I got a clean slate on this. I cleared off everything on the side of the fridge. I know a lot of people don't like stuff on their fridge. They want it to be all aesthetic and clean, but I don't know. This is something that I'm going to enjoy and cherish while my kids are little is displaying their pictures, places we've been. Like this is me and my cousins when we went to Ruby Falls for my birthday. I moved everything over to this side. That's another Ruby Falls trip. This is when I went to South Dakota. I've been collecting like magnets. This was Lakin and his best friend at the school Halloween dance. And then just other collages. That was my birthday a couple years ago. Florida trip. When I went to the Badlands this summer. Just memories, you know. I love having these on our fridge and I don't think that's something that I'm gonna stop anytime soon, but I do need to clean the front of this fridge because as you can see, it's disgusting. <laughs> but we're all done with everything else. So I just need to sweep and mop and then we're done. I just cleaned Lucy's litter box, you guys. She literally stands there and watches me. Um, so I clean her litter box literally once in the morning and usually at night, but I didn't clean it this morning. Uh, that's the reason why I'm cleaning it out now. But I always add in this deodorizer afterwards just to freshen it up so we, it doesn't smell like cat litter. I don't think it smells in here, but who knows, you know. I feel like once you're used to a space, if it stinks, you really don't know. Back up, Tank. Go, you don't, I don't know why you do that. You don't need to have your hair in the litter box. All right, I'm a good dude. Yeah, and I just, I need to. I always paint this right here. It's probably not a good spot for that, but the kids don't mess with it. I need to clean it, to be honest, but it is what it is. Okay, so the floors are all done. Now it's time for me to mop. I've had this new mop for a couple of weeks now and I absolutely love and adore it. My old cedar mop, I don't know if I shared with you guys like some months back, um, the middle part snapped, but it, cause you know, it's plastic. So it snapped and I was using a broken mop. So I got this new one from Joy Moop. I absolutely love it. I love the system of this because I love that you have the washing side so you can put the mop head in. And then if you look down, it has the scraping side so it's gonna scrape off any debris. 
And then the dry section side, you're gonna go ahead and squeeze dry your mop head out and then that excess water is gonna go back into the washing side. And that helps the floors dry super fast. So by the time I'm usually done mopping the kitchen and I move on to the dining room, my floors are already dry. So I really like that. And it has this locking technology. You do have your handle so you can lift and carry it with you. But when you on open this side, it literally pops right out. And then you can go ahead and fill. I need to rinse this out. You can see I use this quite a bit. But I really like that and it's super simple installation. You just slide that back in, pop it down, and then lock. Whoop, I don't think I put it on right. There we go. Now lock and then it's good to go. And then it also comes with two extra pads. So I've been using this one for about a week now, so I'm gonna take it off. It is washable. It's super easy to remove the pad and replace it with another one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can have a fresh, clean pad and throw this one in the washer. So it's really cool. You're gonna lift this very easy. And then there's this little slot right here where you slide the pad in. That's what helps it keep it on. Show you right here. You just slide it in and it's gonna secure and this does not come off. So I've been using this for about a week, week and a half. I mean, it's dirty, but it doesn't really look that bad. And I love that it's machine washable. So I can just throw this in the washer and replace it with a clean pad. So it comes with two other ones. You got this kind, that's a little bit of soft scrubber. These would be really good to clean your walls with this too. You guys know I'm all about mopping my walls. It's much easier than like using your hands and taking forever. So it's a softer, not as aggressive. So this would be great for mopping walls. And then you have another pad that's like that other one. And when you open it, you see your slots there. So I'm gonna slide it on from this side. Oops, sticky. The boys are like super hyper. I think they're over me cleaning. I think I got it all in. That is on. And then there we go. We're good to go. Fresh, clean, new pad. I will have this link down in the description box if you guys are interested and you can get a 20% off of your total purchase for this mop. It's absolutely amazing. I really do love it. And what I love most is that the handle is stainless steel, so it's not gonna snap because it's plastic. you guys that is gonna sum up today's video oh this is such a vibe at nighttime kitchen is clean fall is taken down we are ready for christmas i absolutely love the way this tree looks at nighttime counters are clean i have a clean space to work with and i'm so excited to decorate for christmas 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it motivated you to take your fall down. You have to let me know in the comments, how soon do you decorate for Christmas? Do you decorate now, Thanksgiving week, or do you wait until December 1st? Let me know down in the comments. Until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are.